hey guys welcome back and thank you for joining me so today I'm going to create another beautiful uh, project today using food coloring and the clear gel tacky glue I'm really on I feel like I'm on a roll doing these uh, projects because I come up with so many ideas and things to make so today I'm going to be using this beautiful vase now this vase I've already had I've had this for years and really I haven't been using it like I should have because it was a gift but today I'm going to use it in a project and after I'm going to sit it out and just have it displayed. So the vase is very beautiful as you can see. It has a star pattern around it and it has a star pattern I believe at the bottom. And this vase is very very heavy as you can see how thick the base is. Uh, my husband said it weighs about 8 pounds. So this is really really heavy. So the next thing I'm going to be uh, using in this project is the food coloring and the color I'm using today is violet. I'll be using my clear gel tacky glue. I love this. This is a really good glue to work with on this project. And I'll be using the other things like a bowl to mix it in, a little bit of water. And uh, after everything is dry, I'm going to add some sparkling gems along the outside. Just a few, just for a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to start by adding about two teaspoons of the glue. I'm going to add a cap full of water. This is a eyeshadow brush, a silicone eyeshadow brush I'm going to use to mix this up with today. I'm just testing for consistency to make sure it's a little bit loose today. So I added a little bit more water and I'm going to blend it very well. Now because the full coloring is so intense, I'm going to start by just scraping a little bit off from around the top edge of the bottle. And I'm going to place that in there and as you can see just that little bit colored the glue and water mixture really really well. So what I decided to do, I didn't know if the color was deep enough, I decided to test it on the vase first before I continued the project. So before I get started, you know, as always, I'm going to clean the inside of the vase or any project, any glass project. I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol just to clean it out and make sure it's dry. So now I'm testing the color and as you can see, you really can't see any color change. So what I'm going to do is go back and add one more drop of the uh, food coloring and I'm going to blend it well and now this to me I thought was a little too dark but I decided since it's already mixed in I'm just going to continue I'm going to blend it well and then I'm going to start to uh, add it to the vase so I just saturated my brush cleaned it off a little bit and now I'm going to go in starting at the bottom of the vase I'm going to pull the glue and food coloring mixture to the top. So that mixture I'm going to just put down at the bottom and blend it straight up to the top edge of the vase. And I'm just making sure that it, the color is laying nice and smooth and not breaking up or separating as I apply it. So you'll see me go over it many times. So I'm just going to continue this all the way around the vase. And so right now I'm using a little bit more of that full coloring mix just to blend out any places that I may have missed. So this is what it looks like so far and I'm going to set it to the side and I'm going to allow it to dry for about six hours. So it's been six hours now. It's not completely dry but I'm going to go back in, clean it off the vase from the outside. So what I'm going to do now is just add my crystal gems to the outside and then let the whole project just continue to dry. So right now I'm going to add my Aileen's Mixed Media to the areas of the vase where I'm going to be applying those gems. The gems I picked up from Amazon 
and guys anything that I've used today if it's still available on the Amazon site I will link it below so check in the description section if you're interested in anything if you're interested in a tall beautiful vase like this one maybe you can find one at your thrift store or your secondhand store So I'm just going to set this to the side and I'm going to allow this to dry overnight. So it's completely dry as you can see. I have my hands inside and let me show you what it looks like in subtle lighting in the bedroom. Really really nice. So right now I'm going to add some pink bright lights inside. Got the lights from Amazon. These lights are really nice. These are like fairy lights. They're LED so they're extra bright and this is how it comes. You get six packages of lights inside the box and that's how it comes inside and it also it comes with a tiny screwdriver so that you can unscrew the battery pack and install new batteries this already comes with batteries installed but once those are finished you just purchase more and then you you know you put them inside so this is the on and off switch that little black switch is the on and off switch so since you always ask me about the lights and what I do with the battery box, sometimes I'll just take the whole battery box and insert it inside the project like I'm doing today. And that looks really nice. I really love the way the project came out. It's absolutely beautiful and the color is really nice. So guys, let me know what you think. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I think the project came out really, really beautiful. So please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And you stay well, you stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.